I'm Nyla Trumbach and I'm the lead mechanical test operations engineer on the Fred Hayes test stand at NASA Stennis Space Center. I lead a team of four test engineers in testing the RS-25 engines for the Artemis program. In high school, I was very interested in math and science, and I had a couple teachers who pointed out that I was, I was pretty good at math, and they suggested I go to engineering school. Um, so I, I chose that path. Uh, but as a girl, my grandfather was involved in the shuttle program, and for our summer vacations, we would visit them in Kennedy, at Kennedy Space Center, and um, one time I saw a shuttle launch from their backyard and I can remember the windows rattling and um, I, I'd never seen anything like that. And at the time, I never dreamed that I'd be a part of the space program. Um, it really was never a goal of mine. But coming out of school, I came back home and uh, started looking for a job. And I got a job here at Stennis Space Center with Rocketdyne and it just took off from there. When I first started out at Stennis, I was in the maintenance group for the Navy. Um, I didn't really have my sights set on conducting tests. So, you know, I think I even thought it might have been out of my, out of my league, but um, uh, there was a job opening as um, a test engineer with Rocketdyne. And I remember I called up um, a lady I knew that worked for Rocketdyne just to get an idea of what the job was like and if it's something that I would like to do. And she said, Nyla, I just have to say, this is the best job that anyone could ever have. It's the most exciting, challenging job out here at Stena Space Center. And so um, it was a little scary, you know, thinking of, of what, what I would be doing, but I'm so glad it, it worked out and um, that I eventually became a test conductor. We are in the test control center right now and this is where all the fun happens. As test conductor for the day, um, you are in control of all operations for the day. So um, you have to be knowledgeable about all systems. Um, the nitrogen systems, helium systems, there's hydraulic systems. Um, you are in control of all of that and you direct the test team. Um, so it's a lot of responsibility and there's a lot going on. Um, we work to check sheets, procedures. Um, so that helps keep us on task for the day. Uh, but the test conductor has to be ready to respond to um, any off nominal things that can happen. Um, it, it's a, a lot of work and a lot of people that come together to to get the test off. On a test day, the atmosphere, atmosphere in the control center is much like um, what the atmosphere would be like in a launch control center. Uh, it starts out fairly calm, you know, people getting set up and getting into their operations, but as the test day goes on, uh, the tension becomes more and more um, and continues to increase up until the auto sequence start. A typical RS-25 test runs for 500 seconds and at NASA we believe in testing like you fly so the reason we we run for 500 seconds is because that's how long it takes the RS-25 engines to power the rocket into space. As we get closer to the test, here in the control center, everyone is focusing on, on their operation for the day. And you can feel the excitement in the room. Um, the anticipation is building. And um, when I'm sitting here, I know that um, I, I'm usually really nervous, but also excited. And I can feel my heart just beating out of my chest. Once we hit auto sequence start and start the test, there are several things that we look at. Um, we monitor camera views to make sure there's nothing wrong in camera views. Um, we are watching our tank levels, 
our propellant tank levels, the liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, to make sure that we are on schedule for um, consumption. Um, we are also looking at um, the engine profile and making sure that all of our valves and systems are uh, performing as expected um, for the test profile for that particular test. Um, we have to be ready to respond if um, we see a, spot, a fire or um, any issues that happen during the test. Today we're testing the RS-25 engines to certify them for use on the Space Launch System and Artemis mission that will be flying to the moon. So when you're watching the test, you'll see uh, what looks like a huge cloud of smoke coming out of the test stand, uh, but it's not actually smoke. What that is, is water vapor. Um, our test stand has a deflector that uh, pours out thousands of gallons of water per minute. And uh, when the hot exhaust hits the deflector water, it creates the steam, the water vapor. Being a test conductor can be really stressful and it's, it's really hard work, but um, it also can be fun. Um, I enjoy uh, being part of the team and working towards getting ready for the test. Um, that's one of my favorite parts. And um, the most exciting part is being able to sit here um, during tests and after you hit auto sequence start, you can kind of take a deep breath when you see the engine light up. And um, sure, there's a lot to look at um, after that, but to me, that is the, the most enjoyable part. You can kind of sit back and look and watch the engine fire. One of the coolest things uh, to me about what we do is actually the test stand. Um, you think about the test stand and what it is. Uh, it has to be strong enough to hold the rocket down. And the rocket is meant to launch heavy, super heavy, you know, items, rocket into space. Uh, but the test stand has to hold that down, has to hold the rocket down so we can perform a good test. I just think that's really amazing how these test stands were built and what they were made to do. If you're a young person out there today and you think that you'd like to become a test engineer, I would say focus on math and science and work hard. Um, it can be hard sometimes, so don't give up. And if you stay at it, you can do it.